Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss the Walters Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer professional genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. And this is the first of two videos. The first video is going to address the Walters and Walter families of the British Isles. And the second video is going to discuss the Walter families of mainland Europe. So the first coat of arms here is Argent is chevron and grailed between three chess rooks sable. This was the coat of arms of Robert Walters, Esquire, born 1651 of Cundall in County Yorkshire, son of Robert Walters or Waters, and grandson of William Walters of the same place. Same coat of arms with a crescent for difference, Edmonton County, Middlesex. This was that of William Walters, the younger brother of the aforementioned Robert. Similar coat of arms, this was confirmed in 1603 to Sir Robert Walter, the Lord Mayor of York. Another for Walters of Derbyshire. Not sure who this belonged to, but it was the coat of arms borne by George Stanfield Walters, born 1834, a painter and member of the Royal Society. Another said here to be from Cambridgeshire. Wasn't able to ascertain who it was, but it was also borne by Major John Walter, alive in the year 1779 of Berkshire, militia. His father lived in Hampshire, and his grandfather had an estate in Wales, but lived in Barbados. Another said to be from Ireland. Wasn't able to find this one, but there are some possibilities of several Walters who were mayors of Cork from 1310 to 1585. And there was a John Walters and Philip Walters who were summoned to Parliament for felony. Not sure if this was their arms or not. Another for Theobald Walter, first chief butler of Ireland, actually established the house of Butler. So more of a butler than a Walter. This, the arms of the Walter Baronetcy of Sarriston in the county of Oxfordshire, a title in the Baronetage of England that was created on August 16th, 1641 for Sir Walter, Sir William Walter, previously a member of Parliament. The third baronet of this line was a member of Parliament for Appleby and Oxford. Another born by Thomas Walter, born 1639, who came from Eugal County, Cork, Ireland to Boston, Massachusetts in 1679. He was an attorney and was originally from Lancashire, England. Another for Sir Edmund Walter died in 1593 of Ludlow, Chief Justice of South Wales, and he had son Sir John Walter, who was Chief Baron of the Exchequer. Another from County Kent, granted in the year 1613. One from Warwickshire. Another, Ora Ben Cotai Sable between three boar's heads. This said to be the arms of the Walters of Brabell, Brabrell in Herefordshire and Crawden in Cambridgeshire. I wasn't able to find the location in Herefordshire. But I did find that this was the coat and crest granted in 1545 to William Walter of Croton in County Cambridgeshire and to Edmund Walter of London. Another for John Walter, alive in the year 1492 of Combe, County Devonshire, had only daughter and heir Alice Walter, and this arms was also borne by one T. Walter. Another from County Cornwall and Devonshire. Azure, a squirrel, sage, and ore for the Walters of Piercefield and Arvin, who descended from Nicholas Walter, born around the year 1480. He had son John and grandson John, 
who had a numerous sons. Another for Walter of Ashbury. Henry Walter died in the year 1641 of Ashbury in Devonshire, was son of William Walter Esquire and grandson of John Walter of Brooksbourne. The family descended from John Walter of Crawden in Cambridgeshire. And Henry had sons John, Lewis, Roger, Edmund, and daughter Marcilla. Marcilla. Next in arms and crest granted to Edmund Walter of London, a descendant of John Walter of Crawden in Cambridgeshire. And another source says Walter of Bearwood in Berkshire. John Walter of Warwick had son a Robert Walter, a captain in the Royal Navy, and John Walter Esquire, who died in 1812 of Teddington Grove in Middlesex. John had sons William and Walter, William Walter and John Walter of Bearwood, the latter being High Sheriff in 1830. Walter of London. John Walter of London, alive in the year 1633, son of Humphrey Walter of Herefordshire, grandson of Philip Walter, and great-grandson of John Walter of Urchingfield in Hereford. Another for Water or Walter of Ireland. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com. Link in the description. Thank you very much.